All right, so in order to make these graphics, um, you need to open up your Google Drive, click on New, More, and Google Drawings. Okay, and that'll open up a blank, untitled Google Drawing. So what we'll be making is this Angry Bird graphic. Uh, we'll be making this Angry Bird graphic and this Lego block. The first thing you'll need to do is click on the Untitled Drawing box. And I want you to type in Lego slash or no slash Angry Bird and then your name. And then you can press enter on your keyboard or return. So we're going to start off with the Lego brick. And the reason we're doing this Lego brick is because we're learning um, stacking. And what's another word for stacking? Layering. Layering, that's correct. Good job, Brian. Okay, so let me move my other shapes out of the way and pay close attention. So I'm gonna make this first and then I'm gonna let you guys give it a shot. So in the shapes menu, there is actually a shape that is a 3D block that's already there. So I'm gonna click on that and click and draw my block. So again, that shapes, it's right here in the far right hand side of the menu. And then I just clicked and dragged to make a block. Now a typical Lego brick um, is long and short. So when I click on the block, all of these little selectors pop up. There is a yellow one on the left side. When I click on that, I can click and drag that downwards or upwards. And then I can grab the top right corner and drag it down so that it looks more like a prism or a rectangular shape. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And that's the, that's the body of my Lego brick. So go ahead and give that a shot. Shapes, blocks. You can squeeze it, stretch it, smash it. Um, when you click on an object, you can press backspace or delete on your keyboard and get rid of it if you don't want it. And then, of course, whenever you have an object selected, <laughs> pop it. <laughs> um, you can click the paint tool and you can paint it whatever color you want. All right, so now pay close attention to making these little cylinder shapes or can shapes. They look like little soda cans. So again, we're going to go to Shapes menu, Shapes, and that is right next to the 3D block, right here. I'm going to click on that shape, and then I'm going to click and drag to draw my can or my block. And once I have that there, I will squeeze it downwards to make it short and a little skinnier. And I'm going to make that one in the top left hand corner like that. I still want to be able to see this corner of the Lego brick. And then it's literally um, going to be using the duplicate command. Um, if you go to edit menu, you'll see it's control D. But that's when it's clicked. So I'm going to use the keyboard control D. And it will copy and paste in one keyboard command. And then of course, I need to move it so that it lines up with this one, you'll see the little red lines show up. And there's my set of um, little, I forget what they're called. There is a name, there's a specific name for this, uh, these little, these little, uh, I don't know what you call them. <laughs> there's a name for them. So I'm going to select just the two of them like this. I'm going to click and drag across, or I can hold down shift and click on both of them. And then I will, I want to group them. So I'm going to right click group or I can go to the arrange menu and group them that way. 
And then of course I'm going to duplicate again. So that's control D, move them down to the left and repeat that um, two more times and move them into place so that it looks like a Lego block. I'm going to squeeze that a little bit. And I'm going to squeeze this up a little bit and I'm going to move this down just a little bit. So I'm trying to get the proportions to look just right. And there's your Lego brick. I'm going to now, so what I want to do next is highlight all of the parts and then group it again. So arrange group. And now it's actually one graphic, one shape that I can resize, move around. I can click on the paint bucket and change it all, all the colors at once. I can increase the line border weight if I want to make it a little more um, cooler looking or make it emphasized a bit. So that's our Lego brick. Now I'm going to leave that in the top left hand corner. And now we're going to move on to the Angry Bird. All right, so we're going to start off by making the Angry Bird graphic with three circle shapes. So click on Shapes and find your circle. And you're going to start off with a big round circle. And I'm going to color mine red. Okay, so go ahead and start that. Um, you'll you'll see it. You see the example on the right side here of what we're going to be ending. What we're actually going to end up making. Oh, I didn't group that. Um, so once you have this big circle, now we go back to shapes. Click on circle again, and make two kind of longish ovals like this. And let me make that red. I'm going to make them a little bit chubbier and shorter. Maybe a little narrower. And for this one, you see this little circle up top? That's your rotate handle. So I'm going to click on that and rotate it to the left. Um, it does tell you the degrees. So I don't know if you, you can't really see it on my screen, but it says 330 degrees to the left. I don't really care what degree you use as long as it's diagonal. And then I'm going to duplicate that shape and I'm going to rotate it back so that it is a little bit more vertical. So it's almost like bunny ears, but it's an Angry Bird character and um, these are supposed to represent the feathers on top of the Angry Bird's head. All right, next step, we're going to group this. So you can just click and drag across all three shapes. And I'm going to click on Arrange and Group. Um, the keyboard command for grouping is Control-Alt-G. So if you're getting used to pressing those keyboard commands, if you're using a PC, um, go ahead and start using those. But otherwise, you're going to go to the menu and click on Group. Or you can right click and click the Group button. Since I already grouped this, now it says ungroup. All right, so let me make this group um, look the way I need it to look. So it's red. The outline is black. I'm going to click on border weight now, and I'm going to make this, let me look what 24 looks like. 24, yeah. So 24 pixels is ideal for this Angry Bird because it is a thicker outline like you see on the original character here. So the outline should be 24 pixels. And now once you have your outlined stick like that, click on the shape, press control D. 
and we're, we're stacking, we're layering, we're going to make the border weight one and we're going to make the border color red. Okay, so one more time, let me show you that. So I made the border one pixel and I clicked on border color and made it the same color as the body. And now I'm going to use my keyboard arrows and shift key to move this into place just like that so that it's lined up nicely. So it should be in the middle center of the graphic. Uh, Mr. Uh, how do you make the ears like that? Like this? Uh, yeah. Okay, once, let me show you that again. Is that I got lost. I was trying to do my... Yeah, so we have the main body. Uh-huh. And then we have two ovals. Let me duplicate that. Well, control D. The oval itself right here, we got to rotate it so that it's angled. And we just have them. It just is this this basic shape right here. Let me get this out of the way. Uh-huh. And move this over. So that's the basic shape that you start off with. Okay. So it's it's uh, one circle and two ovals. All right. Now you'll notice on the original character right here, we have the there's continuous line which it doesn't show up here. So how do we how do we get that? So pay clo very close attention to this. So stop what you're doing and watch me do this, and then I'll give you a moment to do it yourself. There is a menu for lines. So you should see that right here. Um, click that down menu and we're going to click on curve. So watch carefully, don't do anything yet. I'm going to click on curve. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to click one time. I'm going to click another time. And I'm going to click twice. Mr. Cruz. Yes, Jaden? I got to go to work. All right, um, there will be a video lesson for this, so look out for that. All right. All right. Have a good day. All right, you too. All right, one more time. So watch. So I'm clicking on the line menu, clicking on curve. Um, don't get that confused with curved connector. It just says curve. And I'm going to click. I'm going to move down, I'm going to click and let go, and I'm going to double click. And that makes a very thin line. I'm going to click on the border and I'm going to click on 16, well let me make it 12. And then using the, let me double click on that, I can actually move these little dots to kind of line it up. So it should have a little bit of a curve. It's almost a straight line with a tiny curve on it. There you go. One more time. So again, curve. Click, click, double click. Click on border, weight, click on 12. Maybe 12 is too thick. Actually, 12 is fine. Clicking on arrow, the select tool, double clicking the line because it lets me move these little purple circles around. And I have almost a close representation of what this is. My next step is to select everything and group it so I don't mess it up. So select all of it, group it. All 
All right, so I'm going to get rid of this shape because I don't need it anymore. This is grouped so I can move it to the center. Um, we're going to make the tail and the eyebrows. So we're going to click on line, and this time we're using polyline. So I'm going to click on polyline. And this is literally just you, you click around. So watch, I'm going to click, click, click. I'm basically making rectangles, but at an angle, just like that. And I'm going to color that in black and press control down and there's my tail. Now let me do that one more time just in case you need that. So click on the line tool, polyline, and I'm starting in this area, I'm clicking, click, click. Click, click, click. It almost looks like an arrow. Like a right arrow. You see that? Kind of looks like a right arrow. I'm gonna paint that and then press control down. And there's my arrow. Or my <laughs> my tail. Um, another way you can make that shape is by uh, making three three rectangles and angling them. So here's one rectangle, here's a third rectangle, and here's a oh, third rectangle. Let me make them a little skinnier. And then using the rotate button, you can rotate them. Put that there. Mister, I gotta go real quick. Be right back. Okay. Um, so that's another way to make the tail look like like the Angry Bird tail. I don't really like the the rectangular shapes though. It doesn't really match what this shape is. Um, but that's an option. And then for the eyebrows, it's basically the same thing, uh, except you're drawing um, you're gonna draw rectangles in like funky shapes. So there's one eyebrow and they're stacked. So that next one is on top of it on the right side, just like that. And then I can move them. You know, I could separate them, but he, this Angry Bird has a unibrow, so he, that's why they're stacked on top like that. Okay, so those shapes are simple. It's just rectangles. Um, let's do the eyes next. So the eyes are uh, two circles. So two white circles. So let me paint that white. And they have thick black outlines. So we go to border weight, make them thick. Duplicate and there's the two eyes and then we just need to add the black circles for the pupils they're just little circles there are little red dots on top of the angry bird um, those are oval shapes so we're going to make little oval shapes and we are going to turn um, the line, this time we're making the line transparent, and then we're selecting a darker red right there. And we make that a little bit smaller. So he's got one, two, and then two underneath each eyeball, which are bigger. Let me rotate that. Duplicate. And then for this one, it's it's a bigger oval and it's underneath the eyeball. So what's the keyboard command for sending that underneath the eyeball? Uh, control down arrow? Yes, I'm gonna press control down. I gotta keep pressing down until it goes to where I want it. So let me duplicate that one and repeat the same on this eyeball. You can hear me clicking my keyboard keys
Um, we're going to draw the little belly shape next. I don't think there is a shape like that. It's kind of like a football shape. If there's a football shape, let me know. Let me see. I don't think there's a football shape. Nope, no football shapes. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make our own shape using the curve. So click on curve. And we're just gonna click, 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 and click. Let me double click this and move this downwards. I think I need, let me try that again. I need more clicks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click around. So click, click, click. I'm kind of trying to match the curvature of this bottom section. There we go. Cool. And that is like an almost like this light orange color. And then of course we need to make the line, the border color transparent. Let me move that downwards. All right, and now let's draw the beak. So the beak's going to be a polyline for this bottom half. And that is kind of a diamond square shape. Let's make that orange. The outline stays on this. And then we have the brown mouth part. And that's literally just a triangle. Color that in brown. Move that up. And then on top of that, we'll use the curve. And we'll use like really short clicks. So in between each click, do really short clicks. And then we'll color that in orange. Okay, and I need to make that. Can I make that other one four? This four. Let's make it four. And there you have it. Your Angry Bird graphic. <laughs>